Hey guys, look at my garden. Look how much I've improved from like video one of like my gardening video to like what it is now. I did a little bit of research of what can grow in the shade and it looks like a lot of the greenies can grow in the shade. Look at this radish and it's not growing to its full potential. Like this picture right here. By the way, that picture is, is of me and my mom. How cute, right? I've been gardening, like, but not really. I've been watching people garden, <laughs> but now it's my turn to garden. <laughs> Here's my little layout, and yeah, those are my plants so far right now. So look at this little one. It reminds me of the little creature from Beetlejuice, but on my last video, um, I was like, I was expecting it to make a cocoon in like a leaf, but this one, I was actually able to record some of the process and not completely. It turned into, it didn't have a cocoon, it ended up having like a chrysalis. I dug it out of the dirt a month in. But look, it's moving. It looks like a Pokemon. What the hell? <laughs> So I put it inside the dirt back again and then one day it decided to evolve into a moth and I just never, I never saw it leave. All I know is it left me these pieces, empty shells, and I wish I would have been able to record the process of it leaving, but hey, I got one step further than last time. <laughs> so for today's video to add to my garden, I decided I wanted to do like a birdhouse because I have this bird feeder. Are they cuter or what you guys? They like be eating and leaving me a mess but it's whatever <laughs> so today i wanted to build like a birdhouse um so like a part of the instructions require a hammer i do not have a hammer but i have this i don't have a hammer you guys so we're just gonna try to see if it was gonna work but guess what it did work out in the end for me the kit i bought on amazon i know there's like ways to do your own birdhouse from like scratch but i don't really have power tools i don't really have much uh so we're just gonna like do this plus there's also some that don't require hammering i saw some on etsy that then just required for you to like put the parts together i decided to do this one it looked pretty cute are the birds gonna use it i have no idea you guys i have no idea let's go ahead and get up close over here let's try our best to put it together i was very proud of the fact that i could even like hammer it to begin with with this little plier wrench thingy but I'm sure it would have been easier if I would have had like a power tool of some sort like to be able to make the holes previously and then just to hammer it got hot up in here. <laughs> I was like I took off my beanie because I was like struggling but sometimes like, I would hammer it and then it would loosen on one side. If you have the right tools then go ahead and use them but like I just had this little wrench. I feel like if you make a pre-hole beforehand and then like you hammer it in that's even easier but I didn't have that but you know what you gotta sometimes you gotta work with what you got and i ended up being able to use it right now it's been up for like two weeks three weeks uh i haven't like checked to see if it's if somebody's in there i'm hoping there is but i feel like there is i mean i don't know because it's been kind of cold but i don't want to look inside of the birdhouse and then like disturb them and then like make them second guess their home and be like i don't know if this is a secure home to begin with so i don't want to peek in there to see if there's somebody living in there but i'm hoping maybe in the future there will be <laughs> like this is the whole point i decided to do it because i like sometimes it's cold or it's rainy and i'm like oh it'd be cute if they, they can like like have their home here too i mean they already have their they already have food and water here so we're gonna go ahead and add these little pin little i don't know what they're called i'm using some i'm gonna put them like this and then i'm using some this one i did it too i, I have one of them were too thick so i went ahead and replaced it with the smaller one i'm using this little uh what is it ribbon that i like sometimes like i save packaging and it came with some of the packaging as like tied with some fabric but like look you guys what do you guys think i don't know it's cute it we'll see if they use it or not but like here is their food and then their water is down below in that red container it's kind of like a hummingbird feeder maybe that's like something else i should look into because like hummingbirds be cute and stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys have an awesome day <laughs> and bye